Che was Ladakh's ancient capital, and probably for this reason, has its largest and most beautiful stupa field. There are over 700 stupas. Also called a Chorten field, it stands on the plain below Shea's former royal palace, monastery and fort. Sadly, the stupa field is being damaged by carelessness. The Lei Manali Highway has cut off the southern portion of the field. New buildings are encroaching. Telegraph poles and cables are striding across parts of the stupa field. Quarrying is threatening the stability of individual stupas and eating into the sand dunes, which form such a romantic backdrop to the side. Also, floods pass through the area. The layout of Shea's stupa field is wild, ordered, brilliant and mysterious. Most likely this is because the stupas symbolize ideas and principles, including the nature of the cosmos, the mind of the Buddha, specific aspects of Buddhism and the path to enlightenment. Stupas can also symbolize Mount Meru, and painting them white fosters a kinship with the high peaks against which the Shea stupas are seen. The reasons for building stupas were always to assist enlightenment and to accumulate merit for the builder, for the community, and for those who do Kora by circumambulating stupas. New stupas must have been placed with regard to older stupas, but there was no reason or occasion for master planning. To understand the mystery of the layout, my thought is that the aim must have been to attract attention to each new stupa without withdrawing attention from the older stupas. Competitive planning would surely have been disrespectful and a generator of negative karma. If this is correct, then, like natural landscapes, the stupa field was the result of a process, not the work of an individual designer. According to the Buddhist doctrine of anatta, there is no such thing as an individual self and therefore no role for a controlling designer or design. Equally, the care of a stupa field depends on a process, not on a plan. These points also apply to the contemporary design procedure known as landscape urbanism and to the maintenance of historic gardens. <laughs>